Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Angelique and today I'm going to be doing a half up hair tutorial with like my day old hair. It's like a lazy tutorial video. <laughs> it's super simple and easy and if you guys aren't subscribed go ahead and do so right now if you guys like makeup tutorials, hair tutorials, and a lot of things that come with being a girl. And if you're already subscribed go ahead and hit that little bell button so you guys get notified whenever I upload. And without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. So like I said, this hairstyle is super simple. It's my go-to. I do it whenever I'm traveling or like my hair is a day old and I'm being lazy and I just want some of it up. So I'm excited to be showing you guys. And I also did this hairstyle in one of my makeup tutorials when I was in Hawaii and everyone was like, how did you do it? So I'm gonna show you super simple. I hope you guys enjoy. So for this tutorial, you will need four things. You will need a comb. This is my riding comb. I've used this one for years. It's actually broken. <laughs> Bobby pins. Hair oil, because my hair always needs moisture. And a hair elastic. So I washed my hair like two days ago, and yesterday I wore it down as well. So this is very frizzy, very soft, like my natural waves. So I'm just gonna use two or three pumps of my hair oil. I'm right now I'm using the Caviar Anti-Aging Omega Anti-Frizz Nourishing Oil. Cool. I've been liking it. I also like that it's pretty much a travel size so it can go with me wherever. I'm just gonna take my oil, start rubbing it through my hair. I literally soak my hair in oil like every day. I don't think it can get enough moisture. I don't understand. Give me more moisture. <laughs> So I just put oil all through my hair, just kind of reactivating the curls as well as making it look more refreshed and new. From here, I'm going to do my half up. Pretty simple. By the way, this is not that intense of a tutorial, but you loves asked for it, so I am going to give it to you. So here we go. So for my half up look, I don't like to go for my ears. I like to go a little bit above. Like you guys can see that. So my ears are covered. I like for my ears to be covered in my half ups. And then once I pull my hair back, I try to keep as much volume throughout the top of my hair because I don't like it to be slicked back, not for me personally and not for this look. And then just using my hair elastic, I just pull through my hair. <laughs> you guys are probably thinking, I can't believe she's making a tutorial about this. It's so simple. So simple, but yet, some may not know. And then from here, I'm just gonna pull some pieces around the elastic just to make it even. Cause you know when sometimes you put your elastic in, you know, it can like pull some funky pieces and we don't want that. We want it to look like it's a perfect ponytail. So I am just going to poof it up and then I'm just gonna tighten down the elastic. A trick when tightening down the elastic is you want to try to pull from like the underneath part so it cinches it tighter but doesn't pull these front pieces. It's a very key thing for this hairstyle. All right, and then I'm just going to re-poof it. Perfect. And then from here, I'm going to take my comb and poof up my ponytail. I am a big fan of like ratting my hair and doing like big hair looks. So you guys will see that from me soon because I love it. I'm a sucker for some ratted hair. All right. So you just want to make the ponytail like as big as possible. Or at least I do. You guys don't have to do that. <laughs> cool. And then you kind of just like piece it all about. And as you can see, I have a huge ponytail now. And then some people may not mind it, but I like to cover my hair elastic because sometimes you don't want to see that. So I just take a piece from underneath and wrap it around my ponytail. And then comes the handy dandy bobby pin. And I just use one bobby pin to secure it. And I like to pin it from underneath so you don't see the bobby pin. And I'm not done yet, almost. And another thing I like to do is, depending on the day, sometimes my hair doesn't have much volume right here. So I will just take a few pieces and just kind of lightly, lightly rat it just so it matches like the top. So it just looks like a big like bombshell type of look. 
Now sometimes it's harder depending on like your hair type to like wrap and I totally understand that. So another thing you can do is kind of like spray it as you go along. And also it helps like obviously my hair is like my natural waves right now so it kind of hides some of the frizz and it like blends in. When I have straighter hair sometimes I have to like comb it through and make it look a little bit smoother after I wrap. And that is it. <laughs> that is my half of lazy hair tutorial. This is how I get away with not washing my hair for a few days. I just keep doing like fun little looks and this is one of them and yes. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, I know most of it was pretty self-explanatory, but if you do, of course, ask me down below. And if there's any other hair tutorials that you guys would like to see, also comment down below. I'm excited to be doing more. And that is it. I love you guys, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.